In today's episode, you will learn how to make a highly secured motor speed controller and monitoring system using Arduino and a GSM module. Before I practically demonstrate its functionality, first I would like to talk about some basic things which I believe as a beginner you should know. As usual, I'm using my design Arduino Nano development board, but you can also use Arduino Uno. The reason I'm using this development board is because it has this 5 volt and 3 amps regulated power supply. I'm going to need this power supply to power up the GSM 700A module. Because the Arduino onboard voltage regulator isn't powerful enough to supply the required current to the GSM module. So this is the main reason I built myself this Arduino development board and now I can power up GSM modules, high torque servos and other input and output devices. So just drop the idea of using the Arduino Nano or Arduino Uno onboard voltage regulator to power up the GSM module because if you do so, number one, your Arduino board will keep restarting and number two, your GSM module won't be able to connect to the GSM network and even if it connects, it will disconnect in no time when trying to send or receive an SMS. So if you want your GSM module to work smoothly, get yourself a ready-made 5 volt and 2 to 3 amps power supply and if you are good at making things then you can make this development board or you can only make this power supply. I will add links to all the related videos in the description. Anyway, instead of using this 320 amps brush DC motor controller, you can use any DC motor controller and the same thing applies to this 775 DC motor. You can start with any small DC motor and even if you want, you can also use a brushless DC motor but then you will have to use this type of the ESC. I'm going to use my created 4S lithium ion battery to power up the 320 amps motor driver and I'm going to power up the Arduino board using this 12 volt adopter. Well, I can power up this entire system using this 4S lithium ion battery but it's a good practice to keep the motor supply separate. Anyway, let's go ahead and power up this project. If you remember, in the start of the video, I said this is the highly secured motor speed controller and monitoring system because to control the motor speed, first you will have to enter the password. This password can consist of letters, numbers and special characters. Without a password, nobody would be able to control the motor speed or request the motor speed value from the Arduino. Then the word DC motor and finally the speed value. The speed value should be between 0 and 100. 0 means off and 100 means full motor speed. You might be thinking why am I using percentage signs? Well, I'm doing this because when the Arduino receives this message, then the Arduino can easily split this message using percentage sign is the delimiter. Anyway, the message is ready and I'm going to send it to the Arduino. Right now, the motor speed is set at 50%. Let's change this to 10%. Now, let's set the motor speed at 100%. This is amazing, isn't it? Let's turn off the motor. Next, I'm going to demonstrate how to request speed value from the Arduino, but first, let's set the motor speed to 80%. Now to request the speed value, for this first we type the password, then the word request followed by the word speed. When the Arduino receives this message, it knows the person is requesting the motor speed value. The message is ready and let's send it to the Arduino. This value is in microseconds and falls within the range of 1500 to 2000. A value of 1500 microseconds turns off the motor while a value of 2000 microseconds sets the motor speed to 100%.
In the programming, the MAP function has been utilized to convert a range of 0 to 100 into the range of 1500 to 2000. Anyway, now let's go ahead and take a look at the connections. The VCC and ground wires of the brushed motor controller are connected to the VN and ground pins. The signal wire is connected to the Arduino PWM pin 3. These red and black wires with the XT60 connector are used to connect a 3S, 4S or 5S LiPo or lithium ion battery to power up the DC motor. In my case, I have connected the 775 brush DC motor with the controller output wires. Connect the power supply pins of the GSM-7900A module to the Arduino VN and ground pins which are connected to the regular 5 volt and 3 amps power supply. Connect the TXT 5 volt pin of the GSM-7900A module to the Arduino digital pin D9 and connect the RXT 5 volt pin to the Arduino digital pin D10. You can follow this circuit diagram and for the 5 volt and 3 amps power supply, you can follow this circuit diagram. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the programming. I started off by adding the software serial.h and servo.h header files. With the help of software serial, I can define multiple serial ports. As you can see, using the software serial, I have defined another serial port using the Arduino pin 9 and 10. I could also connect the GSM module to the Arduino default serial port, but I used it for the debugging purposes. A servo object named ESC is created to control the speed of DC motor using a 320 amps brushed motor controller. I also defined a variable M speed of the type integer. I have used it to store the mapped value. I also defined a variable passcode of the type string so that I can use a combination of letters, numbers and characters. So my password is ABC123. If I want to change my password, then I can simply change this passcode over here. I also defined variables for storing the incoming and outgoing messages. Code in the white setup function is exactly the same as used in my previous GSM based home automation project. So let's go to the loop function. We simply check if a message is received, then store the entire string message in the variable incoming, and then using the percentage sign as the delimiter, we split the message and store the corresponding values in variables password m type and m value and then i have used two conditions that check if the user want to set the motor speed or if the user is requesting the motor speed value send sms function is a user defined function and it has no return type and it takes one argument is the input and it's the text message we want to send make sure you change this number the get value function is also a user defined function and it is used to split the message using any character as the delimiter. So that's all about the programming. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.